welcome back to one of our Bonfire, Bonfire Bee Reviews. reviews. Craftmas day, day seven. seven. I can't believe day seven, a whole week. we're a whole week into December. Still not a lot of snow here. No. But yeah, like every year, once we finally get hit, it's the worst and the best. Weird. It's a weird, weird year. This is really weird. It's, it's actually last year was weird, and we thought this year was going to be normal, but it's still weird. There's ice on the lakes. Not a lot of ice because actually right now, extremely warm. Yeah. I could be out here in shorts. No, not that much. It's like 37 degrees. Yeah. So we have two different beers today. I like to try to get the same brewery, but because we have a lot of mystery beers right now for Craftmas episodes, <laughs> um, I have a lot of random selections, and a lot of them are not dark beers. So hopefully the other half of the month is predominantly dark, since right now most of our Craftmas beers have been ales or IPAs, which is nice because last year's Craft Myth was mainly all about the stout, so it's fair to Dana to do it this way. I think so too. But Papa, I'm really missing my dark beer. Happy ale of day. Happy ale of day. You know. No. And something that's really cool that we've added to our backdrop. Dana went through and he added those lights. We talked about it, I think, in uh, Craft Myth Day 2, yep. where we wanted to use the lights from yeah, last those are year's the lights tree. From the tree. Yeah. And I just stuck them back in the trees. And it looks so cool. I can't, we're gonna actually, I think we should use that for like our couple photo shoot. Having us right there where it's all illuminated. Yep. Really cute. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Um, okay, so let's get into the beer. All right, perfect. So my beer, I'll talk about that quickly because it's a brewery that we know and love. This is the Petoskey Brewing. Um, if you guys watched our Valentine's episode last year, yes. actually it was this year, but it was last, it was last February. Yes. Um, we went there, this is one of the beers that's seasonal their waffle cone series last Christmas we actually tried it for the first time it was like I think like day 23 it was near the end of the month yeah. for sure but it was the raspberry this one is the blueberry crush and it's blueberry waffle cone cream ale if it's anything like the raspberry one it's going to be freaking delicious okay. so I'm pretty excited about it um, I have a lot that I'm gonna go into about their history because we have a whole video dedicated to them but it's located in the outskirts of downtown Petoskey on your way to Petoskey State Park, which if, if we're in Petoskey, we're definitely hitting the park when we're there. Um, it's a really tall, old structure, and the reason why it has such a unique architectural shape is because the building has always been a brewery since I believe it was late 1800s, wasn't that right? I think, I think it's late 1800s. Yeah, and so the brewery has always been designed the building has always been designed for brewing, and they used to do a gravity water purification system. So as it went through the pipes um, from the top of the building down, it actually helped clean the water from the lake behind the building. And they still use that same system today. So kind of cool. They've they stuck with the historical aspects of the building and utilized it for today's beer. So that's what I love about Batasi Brewing. So let's talk about your brewery. Mine uh, is Golden Road Brewery. Yep. Started in 2011. The face of the company is a, uh, a lady. Yep, which is uh, really cool. Which is cool. It's actually uh, two friends that own it. The other cool thing about this brewery is it's, it partnered with Anheuser-Busch back in 2015, which is crazy. I think. Which is really crazy, but it allowed it to kind of grow and capitalize on some distribution. Yeah. Uh, so Anheuser-Busch has a stake in this company at yeah. this point right now, so that's kind of cool. Uh, they do a lot of seasonal beers, a lot of um, rotating, rotating yep. seasonal beers. So the one that I have today is called Wolf Pup Session. Yep, and this is one of their all year rounds, and I don't know if you mentioned it, but they're actually located in downtown Los Angeles. So it's an LA beer. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's about all I have to say about it. Let's get a nose. Do you want to do you want to try to switch it up and do like we both get a nose on the individual beers, or just stick with one beer at a time? Do you think it'll be confusing? Let us know in the comments. I don't want to do it because it could be confusing, and this is like probably the 70th, 70th Bonfire Beer Review in our history on YouTube. Probably, I should count them, honestly, but um, let us know if you think it would be easier for us to both side-by-side -side review, or if we should do what we always have and take turns. We'll do it our normal way, though. All right. What is your nose on your beer? Very sweet, fragrant melon, and kind of tangerine uh, citrus. Not what I would expect from a session. Uh, I don't. I don't smell any bitterness mm -hmm. or any tangy zestiness like you would get. It's supposed to be just tropical. Yeah, it's very. It smells very, very tropical, like mm -hmm. uh, tropical torpedo, tropical torpedo which, which is another California which is, beer, which is funny. Yeah. Um, but it, it's definitely got that smell of the beach, you know. Which makes sense for Los Angeles, and yeah. something to keep in mind when we are talking I don't smell about smog at all. 
when we're that was a terrible joke so something to think about when we are talking we we drink i would say 98 percent of the beer that we consume is local so we try to stick to michigan craft breweries i love to try other states um, whenever i have access to them i'm not going to turn up a beer just because it's not from my home state but we tend to try a lot of our other state beers when we are traveling in those states because it makes yep. more sense to me to support the state that i'm visiting um, but what I'm trying to say basically is when we're talking about it doesn't remind us of a session, he's thinking of like founder session, which is kind of right. You're thinking of like yeah. Miyazaka, you're yeah. thinking. So usually it's like tangy and zesty and bitter and it's like a big punch in your face with like pine with an undertone of citrus. Whereas what we're noticing is most of the California ones that we've tried, and this is definitely not the sec only the second, it's probably, we probably have tried a couple more California we've, ones. We've tried a lot of California ones. Yeah, when we were in California too. Yeah, and we um, spent a good amount of time. And they, they always lean towards tropical, which makes sense. Same thing with like the Hawaiian beers we've in Florida too. Was yeah. The same way. Yeah. So geographically makes sense. This I is five four point five percent ABV, so it's light. Yeah. Um, fifty IBU, so middle of the road. Pretty standard for a yeah. single a single hop. All right, go ahead. It's pretty good. It's fruity. Okay. Not much of a head on it. it was active when you poured it? It was active when I poured it. It's fruity. It's Bright got orange. Maybe like a grapefruit zest in it, like a grapefruit peel. Um, kind of taste a little bit of a bitterness, but not bad. It smell. I definitely smell orange. Like I very. I smell yep. like almost like a, a, an orange juice, like that type of potency, like it's concentrated orange smell. Yep. But there's something about it that is very common, the way it smells. Like it doesn't smell different than a lot of other beers that are like the juicy IPAs, the tropical yeah. IPAs. Yeah. It has like that blend of citrus. Like I get like a guava, mango, pineapple, orange kind of a thing yep. from the nose. But I also can smell a little bit of maltiness. Um, I'm not sure if you tasted that, but I, bet I do it. smell that a little bit. Very sweet. So I'm going to get in and see if I like it. You liked it though. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's very good. For, for it being a lower ABV, it has enough bitterness to make you believe it is a stronger beer than it is. Yep. Which I think is nice. So it's got a little um, bit of a kick to it. I, it's an all-day drinker. I it's mean, a it's medium good. body. It's very velvety it's smooth, though. Thick. Yeah, it's not thick. It's good, though. Like, it's it's refreshing. Like, mm -hmm. some beers you drink, and if they're too heavy, it doesn't, it truly feels like a meal. It doesn't feel like something to quench your thirst in any way. Yep. This is one of those things where it's, like, juicy and sweet, and it has, it almost honestly feels like orange juice in my mouth. Like, it's that kind of It doesn't leave weight. you with a dry mouth feel. It's good. You know yeah, it's mean? juicy. So, yep. Okay. So, while you're continuing to sip on that, I'm going to, one, pour the rest of my beer out of this. Mine was very active when I poured it. I'm going to rearrange this fire a little bit while you're doing that. So I'm smelling with this one exactly what I'm supposed to be smelling. I smell blueberry and I smell waffles, which is perfect. And that's kind of how the other beer was. You yep. smell the fruit first and then you smell the cone, which we were talking about how it's kind of like the experience of eating a waffle cone because you have the ice cream first and then how we yeah, like to eat ours, you eat around the cone at the end and then you pop the last little piece in your mouth. So it's almost like the cone being at the end is very artistic and metaphorical. Yeah, it's remarkable that how it transformed. actually were able to make the finish of it taste like the cone. That's, yeah. So, so I'm hoping that this is how it is again because I'm sure they brewed it the same way. But if you haven't had any of the Batofsky Waffle Cone series, they're usually called Skull Crush or Crush. Um, I think they have four of them. Um, this is the second one that I've tried. They are seasonal. Typically, they are spring and summer beer. So this may be old. Don't know. But uh, last year, it didn't make a difference that I had had it off season as well. So I'm going to get into it and see how it is. You want to smell it first? Yeah. Blueberry and waffle. Like you'll smell both like right away. Oh, yeah. 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 It's a, it's a, and it's one of the... Sometimes blueberries can be tart. That's not tart. It's more like the sweet, big, white blueberry. Yep, same thing. Um, I would say it's probably a little bit lighter than the raspberry one, at least from what I can remember. It tastes like uh, your standard cream ale. It does end with the waffle flavor as it settles on your palate, and it starts off with like a, a slight tartness with the blueberry, but it's mainly just sweet. But it's very thin, very, very thin beer. I don't remember what the specs were, so you drink that while I see if I can read it. 7% ABV, 15 IBU. Wow. So actually, a, a pretty modest percentage. It's a fair ABV for a lighter beer. My God, I love that. It's good. That is. 
It's good. Honey. I'm jealous of that beer. We that, can share both, honey. That's an amazing it's good. beer. It's good. Yeah. Guys, that is an amazing beer. He's been really digging blueberry beers, though. There's well, like three or four well, now that you really one, like. Uh, is it Sheboygan? Saga Talk. You Saga always do that. They have a, a blueberry pancake. Blueberry pancake stout. stout. And, and he loves it. to die for it. Yeah. That one tops it. That's a... There's also the blueberry cobbler by Sheboygan. Yeah. That you like. But I don't get a, I don't get a thin beer feeling mouthfeel-wise. I do. Beer. I get like, um, well, in comparison to yours, it actually has a lighter mouthfeel than yours. Yours is medium. I would still say this is light to medium. That's a delicious beer. Very good. Very good. That may be the best beer I've had all year. What? Yeah. Save those things for our New Year's episode. I, I'm serious. Like, that, that a good beer. beer is amazing. Let's not give away all of our secrets. All right, we can't give away. We can't give away all of our secrets. Sorry about the secret giving away. <laughs> we hope that you've been enjoying Craftmas. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. And for day eight. Yep, we'll see you for day eight. In the meantime, stay warm and drink good beer. Cheers. Let's take that again, shall we? Okay. Keeping up the bloopers, Mr. <laughs> Sass. You're being sassy as hell. <laughs> I didn't know fairy life brought out your sassy side. That's ridiculous.